Hi there, my name is Gavin Nielsen. Uh, we are going to work through building a micro mouse model in Simulink. And we're going to use a, a Simscape and a few other add ins for Simulink that allow us to do this a little more easily. Um, just as a reminder of what this is micro mouse is an autonomous robot that finds its way through a maze. Uh, so that's kind of the motivation of this. Now we start off here in MATLAB. We first need to start up Simulink uh, Template Manager and start a blank model. So pull that into view here. And we're going to start in the 3D portion of this. Um, because we have some interesting 3D contacts, it makes the most sense, I think, to uh, create the 3D model first, and then we'll create the actuation and control aspects. So we start off, uh, we'll make a, um, a solid body and we're going to make the maze floor um, as something to start with. So <clears throat> let's make this, so I, I just clicked solid, um, and we'll make this a brick, um, we'll use units of millimeters, actually we'll use units of meters. We'll just make this pretty good size. Let's say it's 10 meters by 10 meters by 0 0.01 meters. Uh, yeah, one centimeter thick is fine. Um, the rest of these things we'll, we'll talk about another time. If I'm going to hit F5, you'll notice here, that way I can update this visualization. And then I'll click uh, Zoom to Extents. And we can kind of preview what this looks like. It's a nice flat panel grid. Okay. So, I'll say OK. Now I have a solid here. Now, inside Simscape Multibody, uh, you, you have to have a ground just like you'd have in any circuit um, or a reference. And so to do that, we can grab the world frame from Frames and Transforms. And this is kind of like the origin point. So we're going to connect that Actually, we're going to connect it through a rigid transform, and you'll see why we do this a little bit later. Um, and that way, we can transform the maze a particular, a number, you know, however we want to rotate and translate uh, the origin of the, the center of mass of that solid from the origin in the world frame. Okay, we also need to establish a couple of. Uh, more environmental things. So we'll go down here to the utilities and grab mechanism configuration. Pull that to the other side and connect it. It doesn't matter where you put this in the, uh, as long as it's connected to the Simscape multibody um, portion that you're simulating, um, the contiguous part. This is basically just, it's two things. It's asking uh, how do you define gravity? So we're saying it's on the negative z-axis, 9.8 meters per second squared, which is just Earth gravity. And then the um, linearization delta, which is more of a numerical solving question or parameter. We'll just leave it as its default, uh, 1 1,000th. So we'll say OK. And the last thing we need is a solver block. So that we can find in the Simscape uh, utilities, which is right here. We'll connect that up. Okay, and this is uh, just in in any Simscape system, you have to have a local solver for any contiguous system. So we'll uh, hide. Uh, we'll just leave the name for the moment. Um, but I want to I want to show you what happens when we press simulate on this. First, I'll click save, and we'll call this. Um, we'll call it Micro Mouse um, V1 Demo. Okay. Now, when I hit run with the big play button, it runs and nothing in particular looks like is going on. But I'm going to middle click and drag. And what we're seeing here is time moving forward, but we're not actuating and we've already held this still in time and this is kind of the platform we're going to be moving on so anyway that's that's our beginning point and uh, stick around watch the next video and we'll start to see a little more action but uh, we're starting to build this 3d model thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it